guys, May 12, 2022. This is when I got a call from a guy. It was there about six months ago. I did some work to his burner. I think I changed the protector relay. I've done a bunch of shit over there in this burner. It's an older, older burner. He's complaining about it. It's spittering and spotted and hesitating. It sounds like there's a blocked oil line there. From what he's saying. He said they didn't run out of oil, but... I don't think I've ever changed the filter over there. Last time I was there, I was having a good oil flow out of the pump. So, it wasn't a problem with the filter. Well, that was six months ago. I mean, who knows what happened. He could have had a, uh, you know, delivery but in between them and stirred a bunch of shit up in the bottom of the tank. Anything's possible. But I think it's an old oil line in the ground. And then I'd have to put an OSV valve. I don't even know where the oil tank is. I think it's on the other side of the other side of the cellar. So anyway, usually on an old system like that, when I go there and I'm getting a good oil flow, I don't play around with the filters and shit. But we're gonna have to address it now. See what's going on with it. Because he's saying it's it runs for about a minute, then it starts pump the wind, the pump starts winding, and it starts coming on off on off that's an oil flow issue or a bad pump maybe we'll try to figure it out when I when I get there try to get you some shots he's gonna be he's gonna be around there helicopter type I think it's a tight area too it's an overhead line yep they just did that a couple years ago when they replaced the tank Oh, it's got a Webster pump. There's no filter on that one. He said it'll start hesitating. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's a Webster pump. Got the filter on the other one. Alright, well, let's, uh... It's definitely hesitating, yeah. huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can hit a pump line now. Alright. Then it'll stop puffing. Yeah, it's stopping. It's stopping for oil. Alright, yeah, she's stopping for oil. Alright, where's the... Right uh... here. Okay, yeah, the overhead line. Alright, we're gonna just move that and... Uh, yep. So we have oil. Yeah, I yeah. checked. I pushed the, the... I said, well, maybe it's stuck. I pushed it and, and it comes to rebounds and all that stuff. Okay. Support yourself, huh? I do. Cool. Is that for your YouTube channel? Yeah. Nice. So this this tank is not old, huh? No. You see it a couple. It says 15. Have you seen a couple of years? Yeah. Um, I want to say yeah, 15 is probably 15 or 16. Yeah. Is when we got it. Ooh, price of oil. Jesus. Fucking crazy. Six something. Six dollars a gallon. Wow. I don't know. It's kind of scary, huh? Yeah. I don't know where it's going to go. Well, you don't have, you don't have uh, gas here, right? No. Man, right. knock it off. Propane. Propane's not any cheaper. It's not. <laughs> not really. I'm getting ready. Put a propane tank in. <sighs> well, they, I mean, you don't have no choice, right? Right. I mean, I do. I can not do it. Oh yeah, she's really. Oh yeah, sweet. look at that. Look at that. Yep. Wow. There's a problem. There's a problem right there. Yep. Oh gel. Look at that shit in there. It's almost like there's water in there. Not good. Did you just have oil put in? No. No. Wow, that's been in there for a while. That thing's bad. Wow. That's really bad. Look at that shit, huh? Yep. Perfect timing. Always. It's fucking jelly. It looks like there's water in there. Wow. I'm not getting no oil 
snowfall here. Looks blocked to me. I should be getting more than that coming out of there. Got a bad batch of oil or something. That's pretty bad. <laughs> it's pretty bad. I was getting a good flow last time I was here. Yeah. Last time I was here, I checked it, I was getting a good oil flow, so. Yeah, you were. Probably have to cuss them. Plus, plus, we know because the thing runs for a couple of minutes and. I don't know. Now, do you ever drain these things down to clean them out? You could get a bad batch of oil from the oil company and they just fill it up with muck. Yeah. I mean, that's very possible. So if this blocks up again, I'm going to call them. Well, I mean, it's a brand new tank. It shouldn't have any shit in it. No, it should have nothing in it. It's a brand new tank. I mean, it shouldn't get, you know, it should be good oil, right? Yep. Obviously. We're going to pull it to the other end anyway, see what we get for a flow. We'll just pull it on the other end. Because we're going to be pumped with them webs, the pumps pump good. Yeah. The only pump. problem is there's no filter in the pump. That pump has also no... that could plug up. Well, the we're gonna nozzle. have to check the nozzle because there should be a filter. The new the new uh, SunTech pumps have a filter in them to, yep. to stop it, but that particular one don't have it. Yep. Alright, so we'll pull it through the other rim. That's what this is this broke right here. Look at this. You might have hit it. See how this broke? Look broke. at that. See that? That might be our problem right there. That ain't helping none. Do you see it? Yeah. Well, that's it's working. It, it's yeah. out all the way, yeah, it but is. it uh it released. I need a new handle on there. See, these, these, see, this is a, the new style. They, it's a fusible one. Yeah. Just crimps on there. Joke. Yeah. Let's see if I get another one. I should. Put one off another valve. This is an old style one. That sh so who be. was the who was the idiot online that gave you a bad review? Oh, I don't know. I always get. <laughs> I get bad reviews sometimes. Just how it is, you know. Yeah. Seem to want to come up. Yeah, here it comes now. So you gotta kind of work it. All right, that'll be good. Now we gotta see if we could bleed this pump. This one doesn't have a filter in it. Well, I get I get bad reviews. Usually, what happens is they call me for an estimate, free yeah. estimate, and I tell them I can't do the estimate because I'm just too busy. Yeah. They get all bullshit and they give me a bad review. They think everybody, everybody should be doing free estimates all the time. Sometimes I don't have time. Right. I'm busy. I don't have time to run around and doing. I try to sugarcoat it to not to piss them off, but. Well, the only other thing you could do is say it could be within this range because you've done this enough. Well, kind of. sometimes I don't want to do the job. Oh. So I'm kind of trying to let them down easy. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Absolutely. And they get pissed. Because they think that they want 20 estimates, and I'm supposed to give them one for free. Yeah. But say if it's a remodel job or something, I don't want to do it. I mean, I got so much shit going on now. Yeah. Alright, so we got to run this thing till it runs clear. Okay. Once we start it, we'll turn it a couple of turns. Yeah. Jump off that F, because if not, it's going to... Shut me off. 
be. If I can jump out this control, that's what I want to do. Once I start it, it'll uh, keep it going. This way here, we don't lose our. Uh, Let the control jump out and we'll open this up a couple of turns and get a good oil flow. Let the air in the air come to the air. Get a good flow. Well, no, we gotta wait because I, I left the air in the container, remember? Once we get a good flow, and this one you want to flush good because it's, um, it doesn't have a filter. Yeah, I might have to tighten it up on the other end a little bit more. Let me check the other end. That's not enough. No, not yet. No, it should have been a lot better than that. Should be pulling that thing right out of there, like blowing it right out of there like nothing. We got a blockage in the tank there. We're gonna blow that back. I mean, that's kind of odd. You'd have all that shit in a brand new tank, isn't it? Yeah, there's no shit in the, in the brand new tank. It's just well, over look at time. the filter. Look at the filter. Well, yeah, it's over time. Huh? Over time. You said it's five years. Yeah. You think that's gonna happen in five years? Get the tank full of shit like that? That takes years and years and years to, for uh, that stuff to accumulate. Yeah. Anyway, well, we gotta do what we gotta do here. Yeah. It's junk fuel anyway. It was pretty good, unless they're doing this wild, wild diesel shit that they're talking about. It's really bad. They add shit to it to try to make it stretch, stretch it. Yeah. Stretch it for less. For less money. And but they don't drop the price. We'll shut it off there. You said that you did um, check in there. There was oil in the tank, right? Should be better than that, to be honest with you. Let's see what happens with that. You're a good dog with you? Not today, she wanted to stay home with the bugger. She, uh, She's four. It's almost like she likes to play games sometimes. Okay, so we know that's full. That's tight. You see how much shit was in there? This stuff might be all fuller. We'll try pulling it again one more time here before we start going too crazy here. This is up all the way. Yeah. It should pump. All right, we're getting a good flow now. Yeah, 
that. You have to get the air out. We're going to have to check the nozzle. Because this, right, this pump doesn't have a, uh, a filter in it. Well, it had that queer couple of motor to pump coupler. Remember, yeah, yeah. we took that out. Yeah. So now we're getting a good oil flow. Last time I was here, I checked the oil flow. I was getting a good flow. That's why I didn't play yeah. around with that. Let's just check the. Uh, let's just check the nozzle while I'm here. Okay. And then it should be fine. It might be fine. It might not. be safe than sorry because if not it's gonna soot and then if yeah. it soots it's a pain in the ass to get in here and clean it. If you ever had to change this boiler you gotta take the washing machine and dryer out just to be able to get this thing in and out of here. I'll cut a hole in the wall. Oh is that what you were gonna do? Yes. Yeah, it's all freestanding. Flipping crazy huh? But the thing is is that and I was saying to my wife, she goes, oh, maybe we need a new furnace. I'm like, no, the furnace isn't broke. The tires are flat. The tires are flat, all right. You know? If, if, the, if, the, if the casing on that casting breaks, then yes, we need a new furnace. Wow, look at all the fucking dust in here, guy. Yeah. See all the dust? Yeah. That's what I remember last time, the, the blade was all full of dust. just want to check the nozzle it's not all black on the end and then the filter part of it and then you'll be good to go because I was here six months ago yeah. Ooh. could be spittering sputtering and I'd rather be safe than sorry because I don't like cleaning soot out of boilers unless I have to how often should we do that we haven't done that in a long time well when it when it gets when it when it's full I mean when it starts you know, giving us an issue, yeah. uh, then we have to do it. Until then, we don't do it unless we have to. It's not something I look forward to doing. Yeah, it's a messy job, I'm sure. It's a messy. It's a messy job, but somebody's got to do it. Well, not too bad. It didn't get, didn't get all full of stuff, so, yep. luckily. Yep. Obviously, last time I was here, I checked the oil flow when it wasn't, wasn't bad. Right. You put a new nozzle on it last time, too. I think you had told me that the tank has just been changed. Yeah. But it's due now. Yeah, you want to try to keep the dust out of it. The problem is you're down here with the washer and dryer. Dryer, dryer is a big issue. Right? Yeah. I mean, last time, I remember coming here a few years back, and it was all full of lint, though. Yeah. And it was full of soot, because the, the, the lint uh, the, all got inside the blower wheel. Right, right. It was all loaded. It wasn't giving it no air. Is that why you took that coupler thing? No, what did you replace the coupler thing with? I put, they had one of those automatic shutoff couplings that had like a, a queer clutch on it. Yeah, it's right there in the back. I so I took that out and I just put a standard one in there, which is just a connector, oh. motor to pump coupler. It doesn't have the shutoff that shuts off. Oh, okay. Um, if you remember, the other one would make a weird noise when yep. it shut off. It had like a clutch on it. Yep. And uh, that, that was a bad design. They should have never even have did that. You know how shit works, right? We do stuff and things been in there for a hundred years. It's still working, they leave it alone. Yeah, this sucker is getting crusty. Yeah, I'm gonna change that. I'm seeing the whole boiler is getting crusty. Yeah. 
Well, it's still running, right? Yep. Cast iron. Do they still make cast iron? Oh, yeah. oh, they, everybody puts in cast iron. Yeah, looks at that. Fresh is good. It's a 97. Yeah. Right. Alright, so new oil filter at tank. New firematic handle, lead oil line. Before I was here, I did the new nozzle, good oil flow, uh, new motor to pump coupling, new protector relay, reset electrodes, good oil, good draft. I mean, it could have been the last time they filled it, they give you a shitty batch of oil, too. Yeah. Make right, sure that all, that all looks good there. Caps on. Yeah, that almost looks like that biodiesel shit. Look at that. Or water or something. That's nasty. That's like that, like that biodiesel shit.